Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. Got some 300 Blackout Supersonic to check out today. This is from our friends s and B or Cellier and Below. Hopefully I said that right. Someone will correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. This is a 123 grain full metal jacket. We'll throw him on the table. We'll check out those macros and we'll talk about what we're going to do today. For our 300 Blackout testing, we have three barrel lengths afforded to us. A 7.5 inch, 10.5 inch and 16. Pretty much we're going to check this for velocity and practical accuracy. A while back I tested some heavy subsonic s and b in the same guns and wasn't getting the greatest accuracy accuracy so it would be interesting to see what we get out of this you know at about 50 yards and then maybe i'll step it back to 100. it's around 40 to 45 degrees outside today we've got our pro chrono digital dlx as always we'll start with our shortest barrel length which is our seven and a half inch palmetto state armory upper this is on my sbr lower no step on snake I'm gonna turn my dot on here. Good function out of our short barrel. And now our 10 and a half inch upper, another Palmetto State Armory build. We've got a Gen 1 PA Cyclops up top. This is on a pistol lower. Nice. And finally, our 16 inch, again, another Palmetto State Armory build. Got a nice primary arms silver line optic up top. I mainly use this a lot of times for any of our accuracy testing for platforms that I don't have dedicated optics for. Here are our S and B and 300 blackout. We are using the 16 inch recorded on the same day as we checked our tracers. Our first group was 0.864 inches and our second group was 0.988. We're using an 18 power silver line scope from primary arms with all the zooms, Mr. Hooty Hoo. Very nice group. We're gonna step back to 50 and possibly 100 yards. Here's our supersonic cellular and below at 100 yards using the 16 inch palmetto state armory upper with our primary arm silver line 18 power first focal plane scope we do have a little bit of wind today you can see my target is moving 1.819 inches i would say that's not terrible better than we've seen when we've tested 300 black prior the sun is in my eye though, so I need to wait a few minutes, I think, for the sun to move a bit. Well, everyone, I would say our supersonic 300 blackout vastly outperformed the subsonic cellular and below that we tested a little while ago. And again, I always say your mileage may vary because it could be one of the guns that I'm using is not up to snuff. Please drop me a comment below on what your most accurate 300 blackout load is. I'll try to pick up some over the winter time and then retest this in the spring to see what we get as far as accuracy goes. At the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who help make these possible. After all, there's a lot that goes into these. Number one is my Patreon supporters. Number two is Sam at SG Ammo, because I do believe I picked this up from him. I buy a lot of ammunition from him throughout the year. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.
reusable, 